Hello and welcome. This video is for my dad's friend Mike. He's having some back pain because he's a golfer and tweaked something. So this video is for him, but whoever else wants to watch it, feel free. So this practice will be focused on the lower spine and the hips and the lower back and this whole area where I don't even know what he did, but my dad called me and said, can you make him a video? So this is it. So if there's any discomfort in your glutes, in your hamstrings, um, tightness through just both hips possibly, this will help pretty much anyone. And you can do it lying in your bed if you don't have a yoga mat. So come on down to lie down. You don't really need to see the video. You can just listen. So extend the legs long. Place the palms up towards the sky. Relax the head onto the ground or onto the bed or in the summer, we could do this on the beach. So you're just allowing your body to be long on the ground. And the first steps in a yoga practice is connecting with your breath. So inhaling for three seconds through the nose and then exhaling for five seconds out through the mouth to start. Inhale for three. Exhale for five. Take one more round of breath. And then if you're not already asleep, we can start to bend the knees, putting the feet onto the yoga mat. And then we're gonna just gently rock our hips side to side. So you're just finding a little bit of massage through that lumbar sacral area. And if you pretend like I'm stepping on your stomach, so you really suck in your stomach, you push the lower spine, that lumbar spine, thoracic spine into the ground, and then you feel a little bit of more of a massage all the way up the spine. And then pause at the top. Just relax the shoulders down. And then you're gonna open up your feet as wide as the mat or wider than hip distance. And then just let the knees knock in. You just take a few breaths here. Just allowing any tension to release. And then the knees come back apart. And then you're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, allowing your legs to sway open like butterfly wings. And you place your hands right at your hips, right at your inner thighs. You just allow gravity to open up the hip. Just stretching the inner groin. Just taking it slow, allowing the gravity just to pull your legs. And then use your hands on the outsides of your thighs. Bring the legs back together. And then you're gonna bend the knees so that you're holding on to the shins. And then you're just gonna rock and roll nice and slow on the spine here. So same principles as we did earlier. If you push down through your abdominal region, your inner core, you'll massage the lower spine a little bit more. This is also rocking and roll. And if you're doing it on the bed, you might not get as much as a, a massage because it's softer obviously. But if you want to do this on the mat or on a rug, it might help to readjust the spine. And then hands to your knees. And then you're gonna bring your knees towards your body, so bending the elbows. The knees fall out and then coming back in. So it's nice controlled circles. Inhaling to open, exhale, come in. Just massaging through the hips and then pausing. And then we're gonna go the opposite way so stretch out and go around so knees together arms straight 
then it comes around. Just finding the hip mobility, using your hands to guide you. And just taking some breaths as you're doing it. Probably already feels a little bit better through the hips. And then pause. Then we're gonna bring our left foot down towards the mat or the ground. Interlace your hands on the shin of that right foot and then slowly a right leg and then bring the knee in towards your chest. So just hugging that leg in. You can roll that right ankle around and then roll the right hip around, finding a little bit of movement, pulling it into your chest, rolling it around. And then nice and slow, we'll stop that and then bring the right heel up towards the sky holding on behind the leg on the hamstring and just allowing the leg to gently stretch up. It's okay if it gets a little bit of length, whatever your leg is doing right now is fine. As you do this posture over and over again, your hamstring will lengthen. You'll be able to stretch your leg towards your face more, but just allow your body to be where it is right in this moment. And take another breath here. And then we'll take the right foot on top of that left thigh. That right foot is flexed. And then you're gonna lift the left leg towards your body. Lift your head and your chest up and you're gonna bring your hands to surround that left leg. So you're gonna figure four or a supine pigeon and then release the head and the neck. And then you're gonna pull your left leg into your body. And just breathe here, strong sensation through the outside of that right leg. If this is not feasible, if you're not there yet, just keep that left foot planted and really energize that right knee out towards the right. No worries if you haven't gotten the lift yet, you will. And then just relax here, stretching through that outer hip. One more breath here. And then bring the knee back into the chest, hugging it in. Then you're gonna interlace your hands, place them on top of that right thigh. And now you're gonna push down through that left foot, so really feeling strong. And then you're gonna push your hands into that right knee as you bring the right knee into your body. So this helps to align the pelvis so you're holding for a couple seconds, really getting that strength of that right leg pushing into the hands, left foot pushing down, and then you relax. And then again, that left knee coming up towards your body, you push down through that left foot and relax. And then release that knee, that foot down, arms come by your side, and just windshield wiper the legs side to side, just allowing yourself to massage your lower back again before we move to the other side. Noticing if you have a little bit more length in the spine, length in the lower legs, and then come to a slower rock and roll, and then we'll lift the left leg towards our body, hugging it in, rolling the left foot around, taking some nice deep breaths here. Feel free to move that hip in whatever way feels good. Check in with the tension in your face. Sometimes it feels good to really scrunch up the face and then exhale, release. Often when we're practicing, we hold tension in areas we really don't need to hold it in. So that might be even something we do throughout the day. Sometimes if your fists are clenched or your shoulders are tight or your, or your lower spine is really spasming and tight, it might just be you're holding tension and holding that posture for too long. So these stretches will help to strengthen the muscles and promote, promote any healing. And then we'll start to extend that left leg up to the sky, interlace behind the hamstring, stretch that foot up like you're trying to put your foot right on top of the ceiling, kicking into the ceiling. And then breathe here, play around with pointing the toe, bringing it back. And again, it's okay if that knee's bent, you will get there. 
and then bring that left foot on top of the thigh. So here's the modification for the pigeon, or climb pigeon. So you can push that left knee away from you, stretch into the outer hip, or you can lift your head and your chest up, interlace your hands behind the right hamstring, and then you allow your body to melt, your upper body melts down, right knee pulls in, left elbow pushes against the left thigh, and you breathe here. And then nice and slow, release that down. Take another breath in. Exhale. And then bend the left knee. We're gonna interlace our hands, or you can just push with hands like you were holding a basketball or something. And you, so you push down through the right foot and you really engage through the hands. Bring that left knee in towards your chest and hold for a couple seconds. Really fit, feeling the strengthening of that leg. And then relax and do that two more times. And then release it down. We'll bring our hands by our sides and just release the neck, release the shoulders. Inhale, and exhale. And we'll take one more posture to really feel good. We'll take a spinal twist. So bringing the knees in towards the chest, you're just gonna allow your body to gently fall to one side. And then you're gonna open your upper body. So if you fell to the left side, bring your right arm open as you look over that right shoulder left hand is assisting the right leg to come over. And then nice and slow using your core to help you come all the way back up. Rock and roll side to side slightly. Then we'll allow the knees to fall to the left or to the right, whichever way you didn't go. And then you open up through the upper body, twisting to the opposite side. Taking nice deep breaths. And then nice and slow, head comes back to neutral. Engage your core as you bring the legs forward. Feet come down, arms by your sides, palms up towards the sky. And then just walk your feet out a little bit. So it feels good to extend them, we'll do that. Or if it feels good to keep them bent, widened and knees coming together, that's also a relaxing posture that you can end the practice in. So just taking a few more cycles of breath to really allow all of those postures, allow all of the energy, allow all of the stretching and benefits, your circulation, the relaxation in the joints, the connection with your breath, and just the mental pause to do this for a couple moments. I hope that releases the tension in your lower back or your hip. And if you just become aware of where it is, what muscles you can use to stretch and alleviate and you'll know how to help and know what postures and what stretches to do. Let's take one more inhale. Exhale, let it all go. Then inhale, reach the arms up overhead, stretch the arms up. And then you can come lay on to one side and if you're on the on the mat or on the ground, you can gently push yourself up. Or if you're on the bed, you can come to the edge of the bed. Sitting up nice and tall. Releasing the shoulders down. Going tall through the spine. And we'll inhale, reach our arms up. Hands
hands come down through heart center and pause. And then exhale, we can bow to share gratitude for one another. Namaste. Thank you. Hope that your back or your hip or your spine or hope any of it feels better. And I hope you continue to use these practices.